Hey everyone, I am so excited about this vision board training today because this is how I do vision boards and I do them a little bit differently than other people, in fact, a lot differently. And I think most people, when they do a vision board, they only do like the first step out of really there's four steps that I see that you need to do when you're creating a vision board. Most people just make it look pretty and then they walk away. And today I'm going to show you how I create a vision board and how I make it come to life. I've created so many vision boards in my life and so many of the things on those vision boards have happened, not because I magicked them into existence, but because I set an intention, I made a plan and I got to work to make it happen. And so today I'm going to show you how to do that as well. I have taken my own process that I use for vision boarding and I have turned it into a Notion template. If you don't know what Notion is, it's basically a task management slash note taking software and it is amazing. You're going to fall in love with it if you're not already. So all you have to do is click the link in the description and then you can go and download that template and we will do this together. Okay, so let's dive in. There are four steps to creating a vision board that actually works. One, create the vision board. Two, create an action plan. Three, create a belief plan. And four, generate evidence that it is working. Don't worry, I am going to break down exactly what those four steps mean and how to do them throughout this training. Okay, so let's open the template. You're going to see something that looks like this and up in the corner, it's going to say duplicate and you want to click on that button and it's going to invite you to sign up or sign in to Notion. Once you've done that, you're going to have an editable version of the document that you can edit and no one else will be able to see. The document is going to look like this. So the first thing you're going to see is the vision board. That is step number one, creating this vision board. What most people do, and I think this is a mistake, is they go immediately to Pinterest and they want to come up with all of the images that they're going to put in their vision board. And that's great to get inspiration. But the problem with doing that is that you end up outsourcing what you want your life to look like to someone else's mind. Someone else has created those ideas for what their life is going to be. And you want to make sure that you are sourcing your ideas from your own imagination. So you're going to see straight away that there are nine different categories. I like to separate out the categories for my vision board into different sections because that way I know I'm not forgetting anything. It can be really easy to go straight to just working for me on my work or on my environment. And I forget about things like my physical health or my hobbies. And so for my vision, I want to make sure I have everything. You can create your own. You don't have to use the categories that I have put in here. If you just click on new here, then you will be able to get a new category and you can delete these ones. Up the top here, you'll see there's a gallery tab and a table tab. When you click on the table tab, you're going to see the same thing, but instead in a table version. And this is where you can write out a description of your vision. You can put in whatever you want in here. This is the time to really go wild and think about what you might want to create for your life. I have given some examples in here. These are not my own vision. It's just some examples that I thought would be really fun to put in to give you an idea of what you might want to put in there. So you just want to write out a few different things that you could put in each of these categories. Now is the time to then go to Pinterest and grab an image that will fit each of these things. So if, for example, you put that you want to have daily hit workouts, you want to get an image of someone doing a daily hit workout. Then you want to take those images and come and put them into the actual gallery. You can do this in the table view or the gallery view. When you click on open, it's going to open a little side peek and you can put your image in here. Put as many images as you want to put in here, but only the top one is actually going to show up when you go to the gallery view here. You can open the side view by clicking on the image in the gallery view like that, or the same if you click on the table view right here. It's going to come up the same either way. This is where it gets serious. The second step is to make an action plan. So when you scroll down, you're going to see a space for creating goals. Now you don't want to set every single one of these things as a goal all at once. I recommend that you only come up with three major goals that you're going to work on at a time. Pick three different things. Maybe they're from three different categories. Like this one is from work or maybe finances. This one's from love. And this one is from physical health. You can pick, but I really recommend that you don't try to work on more than three goals. 
from your vision at once. So you just want to take your vision and actually turn them into a specific goal. So not just be stronger, but gain two kgs of muscle and not just grow my business, but make 100k in my business this year, for example. Once you have your three goals that you're going to work on first, you get to create a plan. And this is so essential. So many people miss this. They set goals and then they never create a plan for it. So there is a space here next to this checkbox for you to create a plan. You want to come up with only the essential non-negotiable steps that have to happen for you to achieve this goal. You don't want to put in a ton of different steps here because it's going to get really overwhelming if you've got 25 different steps to make 100k in your business or 50 steps to gain 2kg of muscle. You're just going to give up straight away, right? So we only want to focus on the things that have to, have to, have to happen. So here's some example. I'm going to write them in. If you wanted to make 100k in your business this year, let's say it's a web design business, we'll add that in. The first step would be to make a list of potential customers. The second step could be to create website mockups. The third step might be to email it to them to ask if they want to make it real. You're going to need to set up a PayPal because if you don't have a PayPal account, how are they going to pay you? And then the last thing would be to repeat that process until you reach 100k. That's it. Five steps. So you're really breaking down the goal that you've created from your vision into just a few small steps of things that have to happen to achieve the goal. Now, some of these steps might have their own steps within them. And that is why I use a little project board to make sure I am managing each aspect without having this huge list of things to do. So for example, on my, this is actually taken from my current projects is to create this vision board training. You can move this across into each of the categories. So right now it is actually in progress. So I could put it in here. And when I open it up, it has got the things that I need to do. So I created a template, which was step one. Now I'm filming the video so I could check that off as step two. And I kind of have it broken down so that my main goals don't become huge, big, long goals. And I have actual projects from the goals that I'm working on. So in order to create your own, if you hit new, you can add in your own project. So for example, here, we might put create website mockups and we're going to set the actions that you might need to take to actually do that. So for example, creating website mockups might involve finding images from that person's website. It might mean you have to find a Squarespace template and edit the website. So there might be a few different steps that you need to do in here. You can also add a due date. Let's say it's due on the 30th that you want to get this done. You can also edit the status. I like to have status when I have multiple things going on. So I know which ones are the most important to work on next. I have high, medium or low status. So you could keep that however you want to have it. And then when you have begun, you just drag it into progress. And once it's done, you can grab it into completed and it's going to hide away so that you don't like see all of the things that you've done. I highly recommend that you take all of the steps and you put them into a calendar. So any steps that are in your projects or any steps that are in your plan for achieving your goal, you go and you actually put them into your calendar for a specific time to work on them. That is step two done. You've created your vision. You've created the plan. The third step is to create something called a belief plan. This is something I learned from the sales expert, Stacey Bayman. A belief plan is like a to-do list, but instead of a list of things to do, like you've created already, you're going to come up with a list of thoughts to believe. And it is so essential that you do this because otherwise, when it comes time to actually do those actions, your brain's not going to want to do them. And so I keep a belief plan. These are actual thoughts from my own belief plan that I like to keep in front of my face so that anytime my brain is bringing me a thought like, I don't know what to do, or this is too hard. I have thoughts here ready to go, like pre-prepared. Here's one I prepared earlier. I know exactly what to do. It's already done. It's working. I was born for this. This can be easy and fun. What do you need to believe about your vision, about your goals in order to achieve them? What will you need to think 
You just hit enter to add more thoughts and you can keep in as many as you want. And I recommend that you keep updating this every time you find a thought that is helpful, that helps you to stay on track and take action. These thoughts have helped me so much to remind myself when my brain brings what I call the auto-generated suggestions, because that's what your brain's going to do. It's going to bring up auto-generated suggestions like, hey, this isn't working. Hey, this is too hard. Hey, you're not good at this. Hey, no one likes you. All of those, bah, 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 it's all going to pop into your brain and you're going to have to be prepared with thoughts to send back to it so that no, actually I do know what I'm doing. The thing about your brain is it's like a lawyer, like a brilliant lawyer, and it will win any case that you give it. It is going to look for reasons why it is true if you give your brain a thought. So if your brain is telling you, I don't know what to do, it's going to start looking for reasons why that's true. But if you tell your brain, I know exactly what to do, it's going to start looking for reasons why that is true. And this brings us to step number four, which is having a list of evidence that it is working. And I cannot stress this enough. This is Probably the most important key of everything you're going to do in this whole vision board. Most people look at their vision board and think this isn't coming true. When you think the thought, this isn't working, you feel defeated. You don't take any action. You don't work. And then it doesn't work. See how that works <laughs> or it doesn't work. But if you do believe it's working, you're going to take action and you're going to start to see momentum and results. So it is so, so important what you believe. But... Most people don't do beliefs in a way that is effective. Most people just come up with a list of affirmations, kind of like this belief plan here, and then they don't do this fourth step, this very important fourth step, which is to find evidence that those thoughts are true, to find evidence that your vision board is working. So this list is something you want to add to every single day. Examples of evidence that it is working is I've already started by creating this plan. I've created results that I want in my life before. You could get really specific about this. Like I wrote a chapter of a book or I got out of bed this morning or I went on that scary trip one time or I made progress today. Any evidence that you can come up with that you are moving towards your goal and this bigger vision, the better. And you don't just want to come up with it in your head. You really want to write it down so that anytime your brain is doubting whether this vision is going to come true, you have got a whole list of reasons why it is coming true. That's going to help fuel your belief that it's working. Then you're going to keep taking action on it and it is going to work. Read it, write it, rewrite it, add as much evidence as you possibly can to this list because it is what is going to make you keep taking action and propel you forward to making this vision come true. I live and breathe this document. I am in here every single day looking at the vision, looking at the goals, looking at the action plan that I created and the belief plan that I have for myself and adding evidence for why it is coming true. And this is the difference. This is what's going to separate you out from the people who just create a vision board and cross their fingers and hope it comes true versus the people who create a vision board, set a plan for it, keep creating beliefs they want to believe and finding evidence that they are coming true. That is what's going to make your vision board successful. All right, that is it. That is the vision board training. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you haven't grabbed your template yet, make sure you go to the link in the description, grab that template and go and make your vision board now. I am so excited to hear what happens now that you have a vision board that has a plan attached to it that's actually going to work. And I look forward to talking with you in the next video. Bye.